first determine who is going to go first. Use your favorite method. You know, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, who's the youngest, who's the oldest. You just slide your block into the first row of your choice and flip over the block. Whatever block that is, that is your goal. You need to fill your board with that. My friend Brittany got countries. And I don't recommend playing on carpet because as you can see, we are on the struggle bus with it. <laughs> she got another country, which is a new one. So she's going to slide it into a new row and flip over. And this is flags. So now it's my turn. And I just pick any random row to start with. I got another flag, so I'm going to start a new row. And it's a country, so it goes back to Brittany. Now I'm just going to kind of fast forward through because you don't need to see us playing the entire game. Um, I'm just pointing here, naming the flags. Uh, you'll see me pointing at the countries later, trying to remember which one is which. I can name like half of them with absolute certainty, <laughs> but it's a, it's a learning lesson at the same time. I had to slow down the video so you guys can view the cat. Can't play a game on the floor without a cat coming by, right? Alright, we're getting to the very last step here. As you can see, there are three face-down blocks left. Uh, when you have three blocks left between both boards, you will pull them out of the board and put them in the center. You can mix these up if you want to. That's up to you. And since it was still Brittany's turn, she gets to pick which block. And it's a flag, so it goes to me. And now it's my turn since I got the flag piece. Uh, oh, it's a country. And that means Brittany wins. It's a game of luck, but it's really fun. And like I said earlier, it's a bit of a learning lesson. Hope you guys enjoyed. Happy playing.